And three, FJZ here. Well, unfortunately, I dropped a 12 volt test lead or a 12 volt power supply lead onto one of the thermistor inputs into my controller and I destroyed the Arduino Mega 2560 that was on this board that controlled my Max SSB mic um, transceiver. <clears throat> So I want to tear it apart and build it up on the actual permanent. Here's the beginning of that right there. Okay, it's December 24th, Christmas Eve, 2022, and it's two degrees. And here's the rest of my carnage display okay and the radio is in a box there's all the modules that make up the transceiver and then uh, the goal is to reassemble it Oh, there it is. Okay, I was able to obtain a new Arduino Mega 2560 and rebuilt my front panel. So that's all back and working again. Uh, this time I designed and built a protection circuit, I guess, on the input, uh, that which uh, clamps the... Uh, possible voltage going into this thing to 5 volts so that should hopefully protect it from me and uh, we're good there also I've cleaned up the uh, the cabling so I just have one cable that comes out onto a 25 pin connector and of course this connector will then uh, connect to the RF deck and as far as the RF deck is concerned, I have it here. I'm going to probably uh, lay these out like you see here. Perhaps put them on a wooden board. Uh, in the past, they just kind of just sat on a workbench by themselves, which was a disaster. Waiting to happen. And so I'll put them on this wood and then wire this umbilical cable into it. And that way I can change out the RF deck or the controller easier just by unplugging in one place instead of having all these wires. And I have my 50 watt PA that I'll incorporate into this. And hopefully I'll be back on the air soon. So. Okay, the, the module lineup. Okay, this is the uh, audio amplifier. This is the mic amp. That's the product detector, balance modulator. This is the SI5351 VFO and BFO. We have the first impedance insensitive amp, amp A. This is my MOSFET controlled power distribution, which could be replaced by relays. We have the, uh, the mixer. Another impedance insensitive amp, the crystal filter, another impedance insensitive amp, and the bandpass filters for 40 and 80 meters. And it'll all be wired together and see if I can get back on the air. So there it is. 
Seven three everyone and three FJZ. This updated schematic uh, showing the what I'm calling the protection circuit. Um, this this file, this schematic is available in the link below. And I pride myself in providing both the schematics and source code for the Arduino. Uh, at the time I post my videos. Unfortunately this time I don't have the source code or the library files for this new version uh, only because it's still in development. Um, also this schematic that you see here and the one that's available in the download is what I call the breadboard version of the controller which is this here and not all the control lines for the uh, bandpass switching filters are brought out on the connector yet. This was just basically for me to rebuild this uh, controller front panel on a breadboard and have something I could document. So, um, so here it is. Um, hopefully in the next uh, weeks or months I'll have a complete new transceiver online called the uh, MAX SSB, which stands for Modular Amateur Radio Transceiver for SSB. And uh, I'll have a whole series of modules. It's not much difference, or not much different from the, uh, the ZX SSB3 or the 2. Uh, it's just some refinements was essentially the same transceiver. So I hope you find this useful or some portion of the circuits and um, see what I can do in the next couple weeks. 7-3 everyone, N3FJZ.